budgets. What's wrong with state and city budgets? The best way of explaining it is to say that in 1975, the city of New York almost went broke, almost defaulted on $8 billion of debt. And in 1975, $8 billion was real money. And the most important thing that was accomplished to solve that problem and to prevent New York, which it has successfully done, from ever facing the possibility of bankruptcy again, was a requirement that the city budget in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles. That means that its annual revenues have to equal their annual expenditures. And <clears throat> other states and cities don't have that rule. And they are using gimmicks to come up with enough cash to meet current obligations. Their only concern is to have enough cash to keep the promises that they can't avoid keeping in the year they're in. And that is leading to, if you will, kicking obligations down the road to the tune of trillions upon trillions of dollars. Name some of those gimmicks that reporters should always be looking well, for. Well, New York State sold Attica prison and leased it back, used the proceeds to balance its last budget uh, 20 years ago. Arizona sold its state capital, used the proceeds to balance its budget and leased it back. Uh, Mayor Daley sold uh, the, all the revenues from the parking meters in Chicago, used the proceeds of that loan <clears throat> to uh, balance his last budget. Uh, people have sold debt, general obligation debt, debt with all kinds of fancy names on it. They're using all kinds of borrowings, whatever Wall Street can conceive of and whatever they can get an investment grade rating for. In the interim, their ability to pay back those loans is solely a function of who's going to be holding office over the next 25 years, who's going to have the guts to tax enough to meet those obligations. If the reporters dig out those gimmicks, do you think it will make a difference? A tremendous difference. I don't think that half the politicians that engage in these can sustain the, the, the um, <clears throat> political obloquy that would result. I think it has damaged Chris Christie justifiably very, very significantly.